Hi friends, this is Cole. Thank you for joining me back here on day two of Yoga Week. Yesterday we worked on grounding, finding our base, finding our roots, and today we'll start to move along and we're gonna work on flexibility today. So we'll hold some extended poses and yeah, just try to open, open up. So let's start right where you are, comfortable seat. If you'd like to set up on something so that the hips are over the knees, please do that uh, now. Just find somewhere comfortable. So let's begin by just closing our eyes and arriving. And take a big breath in. Send it down into the belly. And then from the belly, bring it up and back out through the mouth. Couple more times. Inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. And keep going with that. You can even visualize the air coming in through the nostrils, going down through the collarbone, the ribs to the belly, and then back up, belly, ribs, collarbone, throat, mouth. Maybe you can trace this line. It's really nice to give our minds something to do with, something to do when we're just setting, to follow the breath, to stay connected, because we like to start doing other things with our mind, making to-do lists, thinking about what happened or what will happen. So a few more moments here. I'll quit talking and let you focus on your breath. Go ahead and flutter your eyes open and we'll inhale, hands up, gaze up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. And one more time, inhale, hands up, gaze up. And bring it down, using the whole breath to get where you're going. And inhale, up. And exhale, down. So let's get right into the neck. Let's take some neck circles. Take the right ear to the right shoulder and just start to roll forward. To the left ear and roll back. And one more time around, so two full circles. Filling on the side of the neck, the back of the neck, and then leave the right ear over by the right shoulder. Check to see if the shoulders have rolled forward. We roll them back. Take the left hand, flex the palm, and send the heel of the hand down towards the ground. So if you've done this one with me before, you know that you can start to move the hand and the neck. So go ahead and find a spot. And if you haven't, yeah, we're just opening this up. The more you press away, the more you'll feel staying here or doing some exploration and finding those tight little nuggets of tension. And when you find them, breathe even deeper to help the body relax, release. One more in. Lift the neck, take the left arm up and over. Take the right hand to the left elbow. Kind of pull the elbow to center, towards center. And push the head back into the arm. So this will light up all the left side. If you'd like to take the right arm back and around, you can do that as well. Otherwise, just stay right here. Sitting tall as if you're being pulled up by the crown of your head and leaning back. Another in. This stretch is great for those of us, which is most of us, that sit slumped over. 
Another in here. And release. And you kind of shake the arms out. Let's go to the other side. So let's take the neck circles to the left. So dropping the head. Swinging the neck over to the left. And back to the right. And down, feeling the articulation on all sides. Getting the movement of the spine, cervical spine. And let's take left ear to left shoulder and let it relax and marinate in the stretch for a bit. So rolling the shoulder blades back, always checking that. Start to press through the right hand. So you can press through the heel or you can actively reach through the fingers, maybe one feels better. To start to explore. If I'm in a rush and I can only get a couple couple stretches in, this is one of them. This is a big kahuna cha game changer stretch. You can definitely spend a hot minute here or ten. A couple more rounds of breath, really drawing, drawing it in when you start to feel the discomfort. It's a good habit to get into. Coming up, taking the arm up and over. Pulling the elbow towards center and leaning the head back, getting a big opening on the right side. about three rounds of breath here. Normally we're, like most places, more flexible on one side than the other. So I noticed that. And go ahead and release and we'll shake that out. Let's come onto our back and let's do some hip stuff. So coming onto the back, just start with bringing both knees into the chest. Rocking side to side. Maybe shaking the hips side to side. Just getting some, some movement in. Leg long. And the right knee up to the chest. And actually more over towards the shoulder. So you can hold the knee down with the hand or you can wrap the arm around as well. With this left leg, you can have it extended straight out. This will give you a little bit of stretch in the hip flexors as well. Or if that's too much, you can bring the sole of the foot on the floor for something more gentler. And maybe you start here and then you extend. It's your prerogative. Pulling the knee in towards the shoulder so it's kind of starting to open up. And then we'll take the ankle over the knee and pull in. So I'm grabbing in front of the knee. You can also grab behind the thigh. Getting some good opening in the hips. Like I've said before, we hold a lot of stress in the hips. And since we're just getting over the holidays, for a lot of us, the holidays can be very stressful. So let's not let that hold in our bodies. Go ahead and just squeeze it out right now. No need for that. And keep, keep the good stuff. So another option here that I haven't showed you all before. So you can stay here or you could drop the left foot and we'll do this. I'll call it the forklift. So we'll reach underneath and take you maybe even bring down to the elbows. So this is just a more intensified version of this. This is really, really juicing that hip. And the more that you can try to think about keeping the knee in line with the ankle, 
that's the direction. It doesn't necessarily have to be like that, but that's the direction that it's headed, just so you know. And keep this foot flexed, it protects the knee. So all those little things. And then cross the leg over like you're sitting cross-legged in a chair and bring the knees in. Flex the feet and we're gonna grab for the ankles or you can grab for the outside of the feet. Now what I don't want you to do is to pull the ankles down. We're gonna keep the foot flexed so the ankle doesn't sickle and then pull down. Woo! So this is a Gomukhasana and we do this pose a lot when we're seated and we'll do it later but this is a reclined version of it. So you can see, see it on both sides. Yeah, so keeping the foot active and the ankles active. You're just using the weight of the arms to pull down. Another big inhale here. Whew, let it go. Shift the hips a couple inches over to the right and we'll twist over to the left. If this is too much of a twist, you can uh, just take one knee on top of the other. So either way, gaze over to the right if that's comfortable for you. And just be here for a few moments. And then inhale back up. Bring both the knees into the chest. Just kind of reset here at center, pulling everything into core. Start to move on to the left side. So pulling left knee to shoulder. Either hugging in the knee with a whole arm or just pulling down, taking the right, sole the foot on the ground. Or if you'd like a little bit more, you can extend the leg out and get into the hip flexor. So maybe you try both, feel, feel both of them. And then we'll take recline pigeon. So grabbing behind the thigh or in front of the knee, keeping the foot flexed, pulling in. So same thing here, you can think about pushing the knee away because we're eventually wanting to have the knee and the ankle in the same line. Just another little action to take. And you can stay here or we can go into that forklift. So we'll bring the arms underneath. And drop the foot. So then we're just focusing more right, getting right in on the hip. So notice if the shoulders come up too much, you can like take a block or something right here, or maybe just release, um, release where you're holding. Because we're wanting to keep the back flat that's keeping, um, pre it's preferable, that's keeping the stretch. Because the more we come up, then it's actually not intensifying the stretch, it's just putting some strain on your back. Another inhale here. Exhale out the mouth. Let the leg go. Pull the knees in. Flex the feet, strengthen the ankle and then we'll pull in. Hmm. Sending the breath down into the intensity in the hips. And then release, we'll send the hips about a couple inches over to the left and we'll drop the knees to the right. And again, if this is too much, then take, you just want a gentle twist, take one off of the other. And you could keep the neck to the same side or you can reverse it.
Inhale brings you to center. Bring the knees into the chest. And start to rock back and forth. So you can grab behind the thighs and rock up and down. Maybe take about three rounds. And then cross the ankles. Plant the hands. Step back into plank pose. We'll just take a couple minutes, a couple moments here, not a couple minutes. Rolling the shoulders away from the ears, pulling the belly in, sending the heels back towards the back wall, and just feeling the strength. Push onto the toes, keeping the elbows in, or slowly come all the way down to the floor. Untuck the toes. Push them into the floor. Press the pubic bone into the floor. Hands are, let's hover the hands. Elbows in, inhale, low cobra. One more, inhale. And release. Let's get into the shoulders a little bit. Take the arms wide. Fingertips tinted, elbows up. We'll inhale, push the ground away, pull the shoulders back. It's called Funky Cobra by some. And we'll inhale, lift here. And then exhale, drop the right shoulder, look over the left. And this feels really nice, really nice for the shoulder, really nice for the back. And then inhale, center. And then exhale, dip down the left shoulder. And then we'll start to move with breath. So go at your own pace. Inhale will bring you to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Once more on each side. Bring hands back under shoulders. Let's push the ground away. Child's pose. Walk the fingertips up, so tinting the hands again. So we're getting a stretch underneath the armpits. So walk out as far as you can with the fingers and then drag the arms, the fingers back. So this will start to pull the chest through and also plug the shoulder blades back into the socket. So feel that action of plugging the shoulder bones onto the back. And then let's take the hands over to the left, taking the right hand over the left hand. Get that little bit of extra stretch. Feel it from the fingertips down to the side waist. On an inhale, you feel the back body rise. And exhale, feel the chest sink down. Let's walk over to the right side. Left hand comes over right. Big stretch. Another inhale. And release, come back to center. Drop the forehead. You can bring the hands also as well as if you'd like underneath, around and grabbing the heels. This feels like a little bit more, um, almost a little bit more restorative. Like you're, you're a little, in a tiny little ball, bringing everything to core. So they both feel nice, just a different option. Again, feeling the back body rise on an inhale and exhale brings chest closer to earth. Good. Let's reach out. Come into all fours. We'll just take one cat cow here. So cow pose, drop the belly, pull the hands back, 
chest through, gaze up. Exhale, pull belly to spine, spine to sky, push the ground away. And then let's tuck the toes, come back into downward dog. Just take a few moments here, get a big full body stretch. This is such a wonderful pose to get it all at the same time. So just pedal out, breathe into the backs of the legs, feel them open up. Inhale, feel back body rise in between the shoulder blades and exhale, you sink closer to the ground. Really nice stretch. Inhale, come up onto the toes. Exhale, send the heels to the right, bend the knees. Feel that side body opening. Another inhale. Back to center on an inhale. Up onto the toes. We'll send over to the left, bend the knees. Look under the right shoulder. Finding some buoyancy. And come back to center. Gaze towards the hands and we'll walk up. Take the shins, hands to the shins. Halfway lift, find length. Find cobra in the back. Micro bend in the knees. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. So again, check the knees, make sure they're not fully straight. We want to keep that micro bend. The micro bend also helps you be able to send the sit bones up towards the sky, lengthening the hamstrings. One more inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. Maybe you grab behind the ankles and pull in or behind the calf. Let's rise all the way up, arms wide. Hands to heart center. Inhale, arms wide, lift up. Let's grab the left wrist, reach over to the right side, body stretch. Another inhale here, and to the right. And come back center, switch sides. Pulling up on the right hand, leaning to the left. Inhale. Back to center and let's cactus the arms, spread the collarbones, send the hips forward, elbows as if they could touch behind the back, and then inhale, lift up and let's fold all the way down. Halfway lift, find cobra, sit bones towards the sky, plant hands, step back, right foot. So we'll be in a low lunge here. Coming onto the fingertips, if you have blocks, this is a really nice place for blocks too. But inhale, the chest will come forward, collarbone will spread. Exhale, straighten the front leg or start straighten it some. It doesn't have to be all the way straight and bow the head. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, fold. Twice more with the breath. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, fold. And again, inhale, forward. Exhale, fold. So working into that hamstring, inhale, forward. And let's take both hands on the inside of the left foot and walk around to wide leg forward fold. And I'll show you a really nice thing if you have a block. Release the head, the forehead to a block. And just let it hang. So we're wanting to get into the hamstring, so we may as well relieve the tension in the neck so we can focus more on this back body here. If you're able, take the hands in line with the feet. Take a little micro bend in the knees, and the same thing here. Send the sit bones up towards the sky to lengthen. Breathing deep. The toes are a little bit in, the heels are a little bit out, so check that. And then also while you're looking at the feet, lift the arches up. Another inhale. Good, release. Let's 
Walk the hands back towards the top of the mat. Drop the back knee. Take the right hand off the side of the mat. Take the left hand to the knee. So two options here. You can stay right here and push the knee away and kind of start to lean back. Or you can reach up and around. You can take a strap and place it over the foot, or you can grab the foot. Whichever one that you do, if you are grabbing for this back foot, bend the elbow just a little bit so that you can roll the shoulder open. Like that. Gaze over. If you'd like to send the hips back towards the heel and then come back into the lunge, bringing the heel with you, it's another option as well. Another big inhale here. And release. Let's frame the foot. Take a big step up. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, halfway lift, belly in. Shoulders away from ears and exhale, fold forward. Good. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms wide. Hands to heart center. Side, inhale, lift. Take left arm up and bow to the right, gaze up. Inhale, center, switch arms to the left. Back center, let's cactus the arms. Chest tips forward, gaze up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow. Halfway lift. Plant hands, step back, left foot. Come into low lunge. So hands are on a block, fingertips are on the floor. Chest forward, gaze forward, drag the fingertips back, pulls the chest through. Exhale, start to straighten the front leg, bow forward. Inhale. Exhale, even close your eyes here. Start to feel some fluidity twice more in forward. Exhale, bows. Again, inhale, brings you forward. Exhale, bow, slowly lengthening the muscles. Inhale, forward. Bring the hands to the inside, wide leg, forward fold. So you can do the same here. If you'd like to take the head to a block. Or here's another option I'll show you. If you wanna take the hands, turn them the other way and then walk them behind you. So walking the fingertips away, that's pulling the crown of the head closer to the floor. And then you can kind of drag the torso through. Wherever you are, let's take about two more rounds of breath. Start to plant the hands in between the feet. We'll inhale, lift, halfway lift, and then come around to the front of the mat, drop the back knee. Take the left hand off to the side. You can stay right here, really getting into the groin, the quad, pushing the knee away, maybe taking a twist. Or maybe you bend that back foot, bend the back knee. Grab for the foot, bending the top arm and twisting around. Taking a big quad stretch here as well. So maybe you try both, or maybe one's more accessible today or just feels better. Maybe sending the hips back. Just play around here. There's a lot of different, a lot of different options. So we'll stay for two more rounds of breath. Sending the breath deep into where the intensity is. We'll come back to center. Lift the back knee, big step up, left foot meets right. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. Let's separate the feet. Let's bend the knees deep. Take the pinky or the peace fingers around the big toes. 
Bend the knees so deep that your belly is resting on them. Inhale, we're gonna lift the chest, keep the knees bent, and then exhale, pull at the toes, elbows go out to the side. Drop the head, tuck the chin. One more time, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold forward, elbows out, tuck the chin, beautiful. Release the toes, plant the hands. We'll step back into plank pose for just a round of breath. So inhale here, exhale here. Drop the knees. So we're gonna come into Gomukhasana. So I'll show you, um, I'll show you from the side how to do this, or this is one way to come into it anyway. So we can take the right leg long and take it over to the left side, and take the left foot over to the right side. Take one knee behind the other knee, and you'll come back to seated. Or, <laughs> you can just figure it out somehow, one leg in front of the other one, and one knee in front of the other one. So if you have that block handy, this is a really good place to sit on a block or pillow, whatever, whatever feels good to lift the hips up. So this is the same thing that we did when we were laying down, dragging the feet in. So finding um, some space for your hips, maybe you just need to keep wiggling in. Knee on top of knee. I like to spend a couple moments just pressing on the inside of the heels. If you go down just a little bit from this bony protrusion, the malleolus, an inch, a half inch down, and then an inch, half inch back. Some really good pressure points in there. That measurement is definitely subjective. I have large feet. So just kind of play around and see. Uh, we're holding some stress down there. And you can do thumb pressure along the arches of the feet as well. Give your feet some love to um, take your mind away from the hips, the pain in the hips. Actually, no, it's just sensation and we're feeling it. Let's go ahead and release. So you can come back into cat-cow and uh, cross, cross the legs, cross up the knees again. Or once we're already here, we can also lean back, do this little fan kick thing and switch sides. The more you do it, the more graceful it is. That was not very graceful, but kind of wiggle the hips in between. Find some space pressing into the heels. If this just isn't happening, don't keep forcing it. Just straighten the left leg here and maybe you just cross this leg over. Different different options. There's always a way. Let's spend a little bit of time here. Coming back to the breath. Again, if you want to start using that visualization coming in and down and back up and out. Starting to create this new pattern of deep breathing, conscious breathing. Nice. Go ahead and lean back. Take the legs out long. We're gonna shake the knees out and let's take our hands in a loose fist. This is like a Thai move. I do a lot of Thai massage, if y'all didn't know that, but this is something that they do in Thai massage that um, in a lot of Eastern, Eastern uh, therapies and uh, body work therapies, it all works on an energy line system. 
So after we've opened the energy, so all the stretching and all of the opening that we've done, just done, this vibration, this is sending new energy into all of those spaces. So let's take loose fists and tap everywhere, sending a good juju everywhere on both sides and get your hips and your glutes as well. And let's take a big inhale up, flex the toes back, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen and fold. One more, inhale, lengthen, fold. Coming up, bringing the legs in, crossing, comfortable seat. Rolling the shoulder blades back, collarbones wide, closing the eyes, palm up or palm down on the knee. Maybe even finding a little bit of cobra in the back here, starting to create that length, that space on the back side. Let's take a few moments here to take a look at the body, take a look at the breath, notice how you're feeling. Noticing with gratitude how you're feeling. Bring hands to heart center. Thank you for showing up and doing work today, doing your work. Your body thanks you, your mind thanks you, I thank you. And hope to see you back on the mat soon. And we'll be back tomorrow with day three of yoga week. Have a beautiful day, namaste. knees here and sit your hips back. We'll walk our arms out. And your hips may not come all the way down. You may be more like this and that's fine too. So whatever feels good to you. But walk your fingertips out so we're opening up underneath this, underneath your armpits. 